while I'm filling up a sketchbook spread and you can watch me draw, I wanted to talk a little bit about how I managed to turn drawing into a habit. And I really felt like drawing faces from photos on Pinterest and you can find every photo saved on my Pinterest board and that I will link down in the description below. But you probably have to scroll a little bit down my faces folder because I saved many, many faces in that folder. So the first question you have to ask yourself when you want to start building up a habit is why do you want to do that in the first place? I think your motivation must be right because you need to be 100% committed. And if your motivation is to do this because you see so many other artists online doing it, you will probably fail from the get-go because as I mentioned, you must be 100% committed to build a habit. And with a reason like that, you won't be 100% committed. My personal motivation was that I wanted to become a character artist and for becoming a character artist, you really need to be good at art and that was such a motivation for me that I started to draw every day. The next question that you need to ask yourself is what do you mean by habit? Because do you want to draw twice a week? Do you want to draw every day? Or how do you want to manage that? For me personally, it's that I draw currently during the week and if I really feel like it on the weekend, but I spend the weekend editing my videos most of the times or spending time with friends, or also with work. Don't force yourself to draw without breaks. That will definitely lead to burnout at some point, and I had to learn this the hard way, but I will definitely talk about this in another video more in depth, because I think that's a very important topic. So how did I start doing it and building a habit? I think the video that helped me the most in terms of starting a habit or starting to draw daily was a video by Steven Zivler and if I can find it I will put it in the description but if I can't find it then I'm so sorry. There was one thing that really stuck with me from that video and that was that you should look for something simple that you can do every single day at the beginning of the day and I stuck with the example that he made which was making your bed every day. You could also start by making yourself a tea or anything that takes a couple of minutes and is done very quickly because if you start your day by doing something that you know you can do within a couple of minutes you will already start your day with the right mindset of achieving your goals steven silver also said in his video that if you can't do that how will you start implementing something that takes up even more time like for example drawing and i think he's very right with that so look for something that you can implement in your day-to-day -day life and that won't take up too much time to really get into this whole habit thing. And then another thing that I find really important to mention here is that I personally love working with routines and to-do lists, but if you are not the type of person to do that and you cannot work with that, it's totally fine. I mean, there are so many different ways of working and if this way of working doesn't work for you, it's seriously totally fine. And if you're frustrated because your habit building doesn't work, maybe you need to find another way or other tips that might help you. And I hope that these tips may help you. And if not, then don't be too hard on yourself. For me personally, routine is very important because your body gets used to time slots and you probably know that feeling when you start getting tired around the same time every single day. And if you start drawing regularly, your body will also get used to it and it will get easier day to day. So I would recommend you to find a time slot that is usually free, for example, I don't know, 9 p.m. And then you can set a goal to draw at least 15 minutes every single day around 9 p.m. And I know that can be very challenging in the beginning, so I would recommend everyone to start slow and just tell yourself to draw 15 minutes, not longer, because it will be hard in the beginning, but it will get easier with time. I started to implement this into my life when I was around 15 or 16 and still going to school and I tried to get home, do my homework and then start drawing at 8 p.m. every single day except for the days where I had to go to work because I also used to work back then. And that worked for a very long time until I started to play more video games again and then I kind of focused on only playing games for a couple of months until I finally found the balance again and then I slowly stopped playing video games and I only focused on art which I wouldn't recommend because you should seriously try to not only grind art but also still follow your other hobbies and that's something that I try to learn or try to allow myself lately and a couple of I think around 
eight months ago or so, I started to read again. And that was something that really helped myself and made me happier and I never felt better than I do now because I finally allowed myself to have more hobbies than only drawing and also hobbies that I don't take as seriously as, for example, drawing. I wouldn't recommend you to only focus on art because from experience, I think that could lead to burnout. So don't give up your other hobbies just to grind art. One of the most important things I think is that you stop relying on inspiration. Inspiration is something that won't be there when needed. It comes all of a sudden and while there are ways to make it more accessible, it still isn't a reliable source. And keep that in mind because that is very important. You need to build a daily habit and you need to start drawing without waiting for inspiration to hit you. And I think what helped me was that I found goals and then I figured out the steps that I have to take to reach them. For example, I want to become a character artist and when I first learned about character art, I needed to learn anatomy. I needed to learn about shape design. I needed to be able to draw clothes and items and all of these things. So I would recommend you, as I said, to find a goal and then work towards that goal. And if you just want to explore, for example, your creativity, make sure to really explore everything. For example, you could try out a new medium every single week, but I know that that can be very expensive and it's also not so good for our environment. So you could also maybe try another topic with every week. For example, the first week you could do plain air painting and then the next week abstract painting, then still life, portraiture, I don't know, maybe you can draw cars, whatever. Just try everything and have fun. For me, it's also very helpful to plan my day the night before and then also think about what I want to draw or practice because trust me, after years of drawing almost every single day, you won't just come up with ideas. So for example, I like to think about what I need to practice the next day and if it's something like anatomy, then I know I will start with a figure drawing warm up and then I will, for example, learn the muscles of the torso. Of course, if you then all of a sudden feel the inspiration to do something different or draw something different, then you can always do that. But it's good to have a plan in hand before starting to draw and then just freezing in front of a blank page. I also learned to recognize my excuses. I actually have a book recommendation on that and the book is called The War of Art. It's a very good book, I think. It really helped me with that whole issue and that struggle because I realized that I was struggling a lot with using those excuses because at the end of the day, I was too afraid to start or actually I was too afraid of failing. And so I found excuses that I could make. For example, I was telling myself that I will do it tomorrow or that I don't feel ready yet or maybe I was too tired to start today. Something always came in between me and drawing and I found those excuses and I used those excuses and then I at some point recognized these thought patterns and then I tried to fight them by recognizing them and telling myself that these are now excuses that I'm trying to make just so that I don't fail which is very negative so I can only tell you that you should start today because you will never feel ready and the starting tomorrow doesn't really work. We all know that, we've all been there, so just start today. Taking breaks is also very important in building habits because you still wanna keep it healthy. It is important to take breaks. Be easy on you if you don't have the time because you have a job or kids or other circumstances that make it difficult to draw every day. You don't have to draw every single day in order to become a good artist. You just don't have to. Some days it's impossible to fit in a drawing session and that is totally fine. I need to tell myself that a little bit more often because I am also struggling with that because I'm putting a little bit too much pressure on myself. But that is something that I'm working on and it's getting better every day. Sometimes I also take a week off of drawing and then I miss it so much that I just need to start to draw. And I think it's very important to recharge your batteries every now and then because drawing on a daily basis is something creative and you can't just be creative every single day without taking a break. So breaks are important. And as I mentioned before, I think I didn't take a break from drawing for probably at least one and a half years. And then I got burnt out. So I know what I'm talking about. Please take your breaks and don't feel bad about them because they are important. Also, another very, very simple tip 
for building habits is to keep your sketchbook or drawing materials close to you and in reach. Because if you feel the sudden urge to draw, there is nothing more annoying than having to get up and searching for your materials. So keep them close so that you can just grab them and start drawing. You could also start drawing while watching something or while you are on the phone, talking to someone or even the loading screen of a game and start doodling a little bit. I also tried to find tips on the internet for people who are struggling with working with routines. I don't know if these are helpful, but I thought I would still look it up because as I mentioned, I am a person I love working with routines and to-do lists, but I know that there are so many people who are struggling with that and who can't work with this. So I tried to find at least three tips that might help you. One of the tips that I found was that if a goal like drawing every single day is too intimidating, try just to sit down first. The goal could be to sit down and open your sketchbook and just be there. And if you end up drawing, it's fine. And if you don't end up drawing, it's also fine. But either way, you sat down, you opened your sketchbook. And I personally think that as soon as you open your sketchbook and you sit down, you will probably end up drawing anyway. So you could maybe try it. Also, another tip that I found was, and I personally think that that is a very good tip, is that maybe you can find someone that could join you in building a habit because that way you can both check on each other and then motivate each other. I know that I tried this once with my sister with working out. So we checked on each other and that was very helpful in the first couple of days because that really helped me to remember, oh, I still need to work out. And that was, as I mentioned, very helpful. The last tip that I have is that visualizing yourself doing the task may also help you to get up and really do the task. But I think that that is a double-sided sword because sometimes you end up giving yourself the feeling that you already did something because you thought about it so much. At least that's the case for me. And I feel as if I can cheat on myself with that. I don't know if that makes sense, but you need to be careful with that tip, but maybe it will help some of you. So I still wanted to mention it because I know that everybody works differently. So maybe it will help you. Okay, now I'm done with my tips on building a habit. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the spread. I recorded the spread a while ago. I even finished that sketchbook, another sketchbook, and I also started my current sketchbook in the meantime. So you can imagine how long ago I finished that spread. But I still wanted to use this video as a backup video and because I randomly got sick this week, I couldn't upload or finish the video that I was working on. So I just decided to go for the sketchbook session video. I also wanted to tell you a little bit about what I'm currently up to. I am working on a video where I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of the pressure that I'm putting on myself because that pressure is really killing my creativity. But I'm learning quite a lot while recording and I can only tell you that you really need to be careful to not put too much pressure on yourself because that was one of the biggest mistakes that I did and I can't get rid of that way of thinking just like that. That's a pattern that I built over the last couple of years and I emphasize on that quite a lot but please don't put too much pressure on yourself. It's just drawing. It's just the thing you do. That's it. I also remember when I started working on the spread I really felt like drawing faces from photos. Just a simple and fun drawing session and then I decided to record it without putting too much pressure on myself so that I can maybe use it as a sketchbook session at some point and as you can see I did end up using it. Uh, my favorite drawing is the guy with the glasses which you will see later in the video and I actually read that he was a gang member but because I thought his expression was so cool and intense I still drew him for practice purpose. I tried to stick with minimal shading on this page and even though I overall like the spread, there are two sketches that I don't really like. I don't like the way the older guy with the hat turned out because I think I should have kept the shading either more minimalistic or I should have gone all in and really put effort into it. And the other drawing I don't like is the one of the woman laughing. I just think it looks creepy. But I had a lot of fun filling the spread, so I really don't mind. It's just a spread in my sketchbook and I had so much fun and I, as I mentioned, kind of like it. I also decided on cutting this video shorter instead of speeding it up so that you can see the lines in real time. So let me know what you guys think and what you guys prefer because I could also just speed it up. But I don't know what you like. I personally don't care, I think, because I mostly listen to sketchbook sessions and sometimes I will peek at the screen and see what they are doing and then I will continue drawing. So 
I listen to sketchbook sessions more than I watch them. So let me know what you guys do. And I think I will leave you now to some relaxing music that I personally like to listen to while drawing so that you don't have to look for something because I love watching those kind of videos. I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you next week. Bye!